absurd that we are told that you cannot have, but you cannot sell bananas in bunches of more than two or three bananas. You cannot, you cannot yes. sell bananas with abnormal curvature of the fingers. Why should they tell us? Yes. Why should they tell us how yeah. powerful our vacuum cleaners should yeah. be? Yeah. Why should I want to be a world beater, a world beater, a world beater, a world boater, a velt powder, a white Buddha, and a world beater. And though I'm just a wet bleater, a warped boaster, a windy bunter, my wild banter gonna make me a world beater. A world breeder whose whack butter soaks wank blotters. Gonna be a world beater. A fucking world beater. A world belter who would batter the world bladdered and make the world bleed until the world's bitter and the welts blister. Cause I'm a world beater. A world beater, a world beater, a world beater. Who's gonna beat that sorry world? Red, white, black and blue. 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 I want to be a world beater. One should not mock the chronic sick, and nor should we mock Dominic, whose road-based therapies recall Damascus bound those of St. Paul who was, you lot should be reminded, on a road trip when unblinded. Dom need make no apology, it's not just ophthalmology that sees road treatment's benefits, it's a cure-all for the many. It's a tested and well-tried procedure, from whooping cough to paraplegia. to people, subdue the lure of penicillin, and simply drive to inner Infantile paralysis, why not try a drive to dis? Your child is born with a cleft palate, drive the brat to Shepton Mallet. A cerebral catastrophe, fixed my drive to Leon C. You find your mum's airways restricted, motor her to the peak district, a femur pops out of its socket. Drive all the way to drum the drocket. Obviously, if you have a stroke, it's in the car to Basingstoke. And likewise, cardiac arrest demands a drive to Bristol West. So if your stomach also bleeds, jump in the car and drive to Leeds. Carries rot your yellow teeth, they gleam before you've got to neath. Struck down with Huntington's career, simply drive to Hazelmere. A touch of cancer with a whoosh Drive off to Ashby de la Zouche And when they say you've caught malaria Hull regeneration area Just even feeling sort of sick Your cure on drives the Walbers wick And when they say you've got corona A nice long drive to Barcelona Should see you right What air you have Just punch your route in your sat nav And soon on the A23 You'll find the perfect remedy Drive it cures what ends you, or go private. All you have to do is drive it cures what ends you, or go private.
than we chorus to the viruses that step towards the door. But at least we've changed the world and someone cheered. All the virus did was eye us as it spat upon the floor. What it had instead of lips curled and it sneered. But everything is different now, nothing can be the same. It's the time to change our ways, everybody cry. The virus creased its many brows, drawls didn't catch your names. Though frankly, I'm amazed you've not all died. Shuffled slightly nervously and with an embarrassed laugh. Someone said we baked some bread and then they coughed. If the virus heard of Malthus, he could show you all a graph. To prove your best off dead now, just fuck off. The virus, we all cried at once, at least you made us pause our echo side. It roared loud, Christ, stop whining. You're just my scoff, you stupid cunts, and left through our applause. Some of us thought, can the shrouds have silver lining? In the last act of the Civil War, when the citadel must surely fall and the plague ran through its sentinels, the king declared war on the moon to prove he was a lunatic. The sentries who jarred every midnight with screeches from the battlements that spies had made screeching illegal and who then threw away their helmets screeching helmets stole their freedom. The ones, that is, who didn't drop in droves beneath the arrows and ballista bolts hurled by the besiegers, therefore opened up a second front throwing pebbles at the moon while screeching at its sickled provocations. Beyond the dried up moats and chewed dog's bones of the citadel that must surely fall, its besiegers glowered with envenoming suspicion at their comrades Punched to right and left along the trench's length, waiting to be triggered in an instant to a fratricidal frenzy by a random, misjudged glance. Behind the lines, another towering siege engine would topple now and then, as weeping soldiers, affronted by some minutiae of hub design, would smash the axles in their fury. Though it must surely fall, the citadel still vibrated underneath each footfall, its walls now mostly roots and fungus whistling in the wind, the gates all long since bricked in, an empire as a last redoubt, a few enclosed and shitty acres of mossy, mouthy, mean manner dementia. And should any future Fortinbras be bothered to turn up to torch the citadel, of course it never fell. And on the battlefield they'd find the combatants on both sides, mummified by gentle breezes, slumping at their stations. Arms filled up with bluebells growing through their tunics. Have you done the COVID test? The COVID test? The COVID test? Have you done the COVID test? I did one just last week. I had the shits and the fever too. A hundred few in bed and you. To be safe and be thoughtful too. I ordered one online. I've had COVID but you don't know. Another throw 
could strike me low Best to give a test a go It turned up the next day Stuck a swap straight down my throat As my tongue's moved gag like a goat And stuck it up my nose to coat The swabbing mucus line Slightly wheezy, my gut's churning like the Zambezi, and then posted it back. My COVID test was negative, I've been a dip, but now I'd live. For such a chance, what would they give all those they never tested? They never had a COVID test, when I blessed with second guest, and so I sent them to their rest, thousands upon thousands. Cowards and thieves, a family grieves, a mourner leaves. Death ever gathers in the sheaves. Just never forget. Crossroads, the reapers climb down, going house to house, from shop to pub. They pick their way through litter till a trod on empty. Jenny makes one jump, giggling, embarrassed on the eerie pavement, bends to pick up. He's still jangling side and still pick up his still jangling side The leaves spun sunlight on the crumbling wall beyond the harvest towards the manor house before which on the lawn the park Boys honker around the crate to lure the hellhound out. They coo and pet and stroke the slavering monster with itchy stumps where once the hands had been. With itchy stumps where once the hands had been. Today it's shame in Britain Day And we festooned the town in bones Coach loads full of local kiddies Are off to conquer nearby towns Enslaving everyone for charity And making sure that they record The whole thing on our phones The whole thing on our foes And today on shame in Britain Day We'll let the tires burn And the massacre reenactment Behind the old folks' home Before cancelling best kept garden Because the best are owned Privately And a permanently Permanently closed And later on shame in Britain Day Will chase away our frown When we all loot the corner shop Dog races, slogans, honest earnings Quick death threats to our neighbours 
his hoard A few loose chicos at the gradient sill They landslide out to the cavern's floor From this pile his wealth his loot, his spoils he got Bamboozling a dragon he then rode On raids throughout the villages around He didn't need a dragon these days though Raising their slums and silage dumps The villagers now cheered him when he taught their villages Their villages, they're dumb To pick which of their children to devour The ogre had cut off the dragon's head Scooped diamond eyes from sockets of gold plate Grabbed the rubies from its spilling blood and garnished with a child ate up its meat. The ogre yawned, the dragon quite forgotten. He stole some of the dragons just last season. The topsoil smells of smoke, although it's sodden. With blood in villages where they don't cheer. With blood in villages where they don't cheer. Now amidst the scree of tumbling treasure The ogre spots a thing which gives him pause He held it between thumb and thick forefinger And glowered it impudently matched his gaze He turned it on its side
void in case its contents might spill out Then he sniffed it like a cat Was going to smash the thing in his impatience When a tiny spark of grace flashed in his head And thus he saw himself He saw the monster He blinked Then something else was there instead The mirror showed a saint with shaven tonsure And a halo resting on his stubbly pate The halo resting on his stubbly pate Although it seems we need to learn what freedom is, what freedom means Separate us from machines, though life's a bitch and getting bitchier As the richest rich get richer, our politicians grow more futile Their cops to bend our knees more brutal, society gets more unequal Even our shits become more vehicles to fight against the nanny state Demands that everyone relate Say columns by fifth columnists Tossed off by their aching wrists To freedom to do just as you please Be a racist, spread disease Defeat the woke, catch the zeitgeist Divert attention from the heist Defy the lockdown, go to raves While cops protect you from your slaves And scream and whine and howl and blow your lord To save the status quo To smash the state but save the realm While lashing fascists to its helm Free will hit the ling on a pull Free to keep the prisons full Freedom not to tax the banks Or disinvest from building tanks Mocking thoughts of a better way While securing the getaway And free to order in the bailiff Why freedom to struggle or to fail it. Drink freedom till you get cirrhosis Because freedom's apotheosis It's just like in Fidelio Like shooting Cavacalli Oh, the fight for freedom's greatest task Is not having to wear a mask Fight for freedom's greatest task Is not having to wear a mask Not having to wear a mask Freedom's greatest task is not having to wear a mask Some say this makes me look suspicious But couldn't they be more ambitious in their liberation struggle? Because I think they'll find the road a bit cold While they're clicking their heels when others storm bigger bastards Big Started black. It takes some pretty fucked up magic to turn all of that on its back. All human beings are born as social beasts who need to help and share. But fucked up wizardry has fucked us, convincing us we mustn't care. All human beings are born to crave love It's hard what in as we just stay How 
fucked up is your cup fuckedness Enchanting us to make us hate And if you don't believe in magic How else have we become so fucked up? We fucked over the human brain What slide of hand, classic distraction Ace of space palmed up a sleeve Could consequently fuck us so much That we believe what we believe that fucking chanted mantra this is One way fucking things can be We're only human and if you're quiet You might be human to fuck me Fucking curse is special magic Our church bells, banks and cringing knaves Accountants, clowns and riot cops All underpinned by grateful slaves An ancient curse that takes some share And shapes it to some fucking thing Waves are one, knocked back a potion Hocus pocus, she's your king All human beings have been enchanted The bad way in this living hell So break the charm and spit out the potion Crack mirrors, let's fuck this spell Back magic Back magic Fuck sat maskless in first class on the train with judging by your conversation football on the brain glowering like a fat dog eating shit out of a drain sat slumped behind your table like the growing darkening stain on a passed out drunkard's trousers when they've shat themselves again i imagine that you fancy that you've gone against the grain and you burn your own umbrella when it's coming on to rain to show that you're a rebel who's entitled to maintain that you can do just what you want but let me make it plain oh fat white fuck sat maskless in first class on the train it's your attitude that's unmasked your effortless disdain for everyone except yourself so i will now explain but i hope that you catch covid and die in screaming pain so you will sit no more in pomp like fucking Charlemagne 
and everyone else can cheer and break out the champagne. Oh, fat white fucks at maskless in first class on the train. Fat white fuck. 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 in there not to adore Now we can batter down his door and piss upon his parquet floor Steal everything he's got and more Then suck the fucker on the jaw And he can't even call the law Posh twat straight out of evil and war Survey vast tracts of fen and moor Their family's own since days of yore And every fat complacent boar Assumes they'll own it evermore But not without the rule of law Poor libertarians ignore that mutual aid's required before You smash the state and ditch the law They think that they can simply whore after loot And furthermore, unbound by rules that they deplore They can pillage even more And safely stash the swag offshore But typically, they don't explore The flip side in this tug of war That we can steal from them and nor can they stop us without the law Nor will the sound of dropping jaw Of Tories who've been so caught sure Prevent the spilling of their gore Without protection of the law So now they've dumped the rule of law Let's prize open their grasping claw Deprive them of their homes galore Smash their Oxbridge boat club or Land our ships upon their shore Bring down our hammers just like Thor As we even up the score And if they should scream, where is the law? They should have thought of that before They let Boris fuck the law. They let Boris fuck the law. They let Boris fuck the law. and starts devouring its own tail. The scorpion arches up to lick its sting. The cassowary bends to peck at its own poison spur. And in a yogic miracle, Johnson kisses his own ring. Covid swerves in a tight circle and starts over again. Old No-Eyes frogs a circuit with his scythe. And Johnson fists himself with his own tussled turnip head. Though none of us would ever guess the wanker was so live. Everything comes round again, eternally recurring. In endless repetition like a comet. Johnson sticks his head up his loose ass, biting at Brexit deals. Like a fat thrashed dog returning every evening 
to its vomit. Guard your stash, guard your stash Though your mouth's a toothless gash Like the slits in all those throats Which you have secretly had slashed Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash Though your ponytail's panache was Despite a certain brashness Thrown away with last year's trash Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash Though each time you take a lash The pain and time it takes to do it Leaves you unabashed Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash Though you've licensed your eyelashes And the rust will keep on eating its way Through your weapons cash Guard your stash So guard your stash Guard your stash Cause you still hold the lash In a system which has spread Just like a separating rash Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash Because you gave the moron sashes Which you can use as nooses And then watch the fool's limbs thrashing Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash Because you create the clash That your gun so still will shill in streams of shrill up all the dash Guard your stash Guard your stash, guard your stash And then trim your moustache Then run again for office While you're laundering your cash Guard your stash Then guard your stash Guard your stash They tied a fresh balloon to a fence post in the field. You could see them from the bypassed old coast road, a bouncing pinprick beyond the nettles. Each balloon the same dull colour as the last one, pukish ochre, but each day with new words scrawled on its paunch. Words came clumped in phrases of three words, in large and childish letters, illegible to the rare, far off and speeding traffic from across the scrub and cowpats. Whereas the kind and sheep and creatures of the soil clearly cannot read. Daily, a fresh balloons there, nonetheless. Harvest mice and corncrakes speculated, this is an angel's lung, opaque inside from layers of caked mucus, a mysterious gift of hope from God. Some bank vaults scoffed, a porcupine's inside they swore, <laughs> the earthworms laughed. <laughs> Although yellow, the blooms smell faintly malty. On windy days, the balloons thrash in seizure, flop limply when the sun shines, drum, meaningless, staccato, free-form riffs during summer cloudbursts, deflating, 
slowly through the long, dull afternoon into shriveled condoms, pierced with petty uselessness and protection against nothing after dusk. Every previous time they'd dropped death round. They'd always phoned to say if they'd been held up by a contraflow near Calvary or resurfacing for miles and miles along the road to hell. And even when they dropped death round to gather up my parents and my dearest, sweetest friends, they'd get here seven at the latest and death would look round from DBBs on the telly when the doorbell rang and sneer it tolls for thee death sitting death sitting death sitting but death's been round here now for months and every day I think I must ring the authorities and plead there must be somewhere else for death to stay. With someone closer, some family, where death might be, well, happier. Death sitting. Death sitting. But dropped right in it, it's got to me. Death's not easy. When we tried homeschooling, Death just drawled with unanswerable finality. Frankly, what's the point? And sulked for hours. While I searched all day online for fun activities to do at home with sides. Death sitting. Death sitting. Death sitting. At least now we can get out and meet Death's BFFs off down the park. Though... If I'm honest, watching death morosely hanging out with war and pestilence push famine on the swings has pulled as quickly as attempts to build vast hecatombs and mausoleums with Duplo. And now the shops are open too. Though I glimpsed the gathering darkness from the corners of my eyes as we queued up outside Primark for new cowls. Still, tomorrow I had promised death we're going to the zoo. And yet, amidst all those endangered species, there's just no knowing exactly what death's going to do. Foretold in teacups dregs But prophets simply second guess the scythe These are the things I choose to prophesy A second wave half injured by dark stars Boris Johnson loses all his hair Howls at night as if nailed to a cross Matt Hancock's in a care home In a pool of his own piss All prophets simply second guess the scythe these are the things I choose to prophesy A third wave comes and then a solar flare It fries the internet and yet before Self-righteousness pours forth by telegram At twelve dollars a word a mob gives up and all is calm Zuckerberg's convicted in The Hague Putin, Xi and Trump all in a cage Without the crooks and nuts, the state's all done. After the crash, yet briefed his hatership of Owen Jones. 
Oh, prophets simply second guess the side. These are the things I choose to prophesy. Fourth and fifth waves on harvested crops. Debts stay unpaid and soon the banks collapse. Worldwide debt jubilees follow thereafter. With a new crofting economy and universal barter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleventh waves. A peace conference with the virus is convened. Our reparations, we must now behave. And as in Narnia, statues of good people come alive. All prophets simply second guess the side. These are the things I choose to prophesy. The present locks our hopes in sequestration. The future muffles all echolocation. Yet still the past compels our souls to hanker. So push on blindly into time. It's there for us to conquer. All prophets simply second guess the side. These are the things I choose to prophesy. All prophets simply second guess the sign. These things can be woven in. They'll happen by and by. All prophets simply second guess the side. These are the things I choose to prophesy. These things can be woven in They'll happen By and by We beat the Hun, the Japanese And now we've beaten a disease V-E, V-J, V-V day Fever virus But before the second wave Sweeps us all into the grave Don't forget a glorious moment To inspire us We didn't need the Yanks Or brigades of Soviet tanks To define our mighty nation with their work The essence of true Brit Is to roll ourselves in shit And pretend it's glory Just like at Dunkirk So let's all go Dunkirking Because bugger all is working And the situation generally is dire And as everything gets murkier We chaps will get unkirkier And victoriously sink into the mire Let's all go Dunkirking It's because our ruling class Can't tell its elbow from its ass All these books listed with peerages in books Who draw they've won because they've dared Ill-equipped and unprepared To deny they fuck things up Like a Dunkirk Posh, bland and mediocre Always in hock to their brokers Complacent and inept Wrapped in their perks They'll still yell of England's glories Long since sold off by the Tories With each fresh steaming shit train Of Dunkirk's so let's all go Dunkirking Cause the dying are just shirking Whether cannon fodder or 
have some reason called just If our victory seems quirky That's because we're so done quirky So let's drink all night to toast our ruling bodges Let's all go They'll claim the Spitfire is their plane Churchill theirs, though Chamberlain Is more their mark Or Churchill versus Turks And they then expect our thanks When they dump the other ranks At Gallipoli And would have at Dunkirk Dictators to disease Winning the lot Pretending it's hard work Unprepared and ill-equipped Then little people's little ships Save their bacon like they did once At Dunkirk So let's all go Dunkirk in as our wise rulers are jerking around the BEF or NHS. And if you think you're feeling perkier, you are just feeling Dunkirkier, dropped into a more God Almighty mess. Because they lead you to your death. With the lies upon their breath Each ball's up blanked With an infectious smirk And this is just the latest highlight Of our never-ending twilight That began falling on the beaches Of Dunkirk So let's all go Bugger all is working And everything they touch Will turn to crap So if you're feeling lucky Forget it all and get done turkey And blow the whole damn back road On the lap Let's all go Until it's duckier Slash your wrists to get them duckier And dance across the beaches Through the dust And we'll carry on them kicking Until nothing more is working To be done kicky worky Such a laugh And then strike Now at last I feel that I can look your spirit in the eye. Now that at last the thing that poleaxed me back in January has been nailed down by a pinprick as the main event. The plague. That pig that left me sweating in freezing fits, embalmed in bed in sulfurous mere's martyr. 
My joints like broken walnuts with hogtied eyeballs and less energy than dissipating smoke. Slow cooking me to Brexit day. Pandemic's damp squib warm-up act. Now at last I know it's COVID. I know that you'd be proud. Proud in your quiet, unassailably determined way. The way you were when I was eight. And my endemic sore throat was, you proved, Coxsackie virus. By thrusting swabs between my tonsils and drawing what seemed like ponds of blood for growing cultures in your lab. Also you'd be proud I know that I was in the avant-garde, trend-setting and vanguarding the whole farce by getting iller than I had for 50 years or more than when I'd had Coxsackie. Fashionably early, struck down when our Ministry of Cranks was still too busy wanking about wrong types of isolation, back when the only vector was to be some foreign other, back when they wouldn't test you till you're cradled in death's radius. Since when I've told the whole world how my virologist father would be laughing now sardonically at their hoarded folly. So I know the pride you feel in your adopted boy's infection is bounced directly back, although you're now 16 years dead. And I repeat to all who listen how you told me in the 80s, when you'd overseen an autopsy on Britain's second AIDS death, that epidemiologically you thought AIDS was a dull disease, and that, getting down to basics, nothing that you couldn't catch, standing fully clothed at a bus stop in broad daylight, is all that much to worry you if you take small precautions. But naturally you added the establishment, the medical as well as the political, assumed they'd smashed infection, so the isolation hospitals sentinelling every town were closed and as we spoke, now 40 years ago, were bulldozed to build neat estates of Barrett homes, kindling Thatcherism, pump priming the whole floating world of buy-to-let and outsourcing, the neoliberal fantasy of privatising track and trace, the brittle, hollow edifice that's left us 60,000 dead, tsunami by a dream of greed, a fresh song for the veterans, as if they'd built their new Jerusalem on a burial ground, an uncleared native burial ground. Yes, just exactly that. And now at last that I can look your spirit in the eye, I see it twinkling because now we know we bloody told them so.